day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. You're tuned into another episode of the Mid-Month Energy Report for July 2019. My name is Greg Prescott, and I want to say welcome to everyone that's joining me here on Patreon. And the first part of this will be available to our friends on YouTube as well. So we've got a lot to cover uh, right now. There's so many things that are going on. Uh, ascension symptoms, mercury retrograde, Schumann resonance, and much more. So let's jump into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is symbolism. And, and here's a great example. I was on the phone with a friend yesterday. And as I was talking, I was outside, and as I was talking, a car drives by with a New York license plate. I'm originally from upstate New York, but I live in Florida, and that catches my eye when I see a, a New York license plate. And I had mentioned that to her, that I saw the plate, but I didn't think much about it. You know how movies go through foreshadowing they have a foreshadowing process where they kind of hint at what's going to happen that's called foreshadowing basically we are writing the script for what's happening and what's happening is this Let me, let's go to twitter now last night i was in bed early and uh, i woke up about 3 30 4 o'clock in the morning and I'll talk a little bit more about that later on but when I woke up I got onto Twitter and this is what I saw now once again in symbolism everything has meaning and when I first saw that New York license plate I didn't think twice about it but as it turned out there was a blackout in New York City in Midtown Manhattan which included Hell's Kitchen, Columbus Circle, the Upper West Side, Lincoln Center, and 30 Rockefeller Center. Now, when we look at who is in the Upper West Side, it's basically the, the rich and the affluent that are there. So, with this whole pedophile child trafficking case getting blown to smithereens right now, it, it's out there and everyone's talking about it. Who happens to live in New York, in Manhattan? Well, as it turns out, it's Jeffrey Epstein. And what else is in Manhattan? Well, if we go to the map, well, we do have Rockefeller Center that is right there, Midtown Manhattan, amongst other conglomerates and business moguls. Now, what I found really interesting was this. If you go to the Q drop on July 11th, Q was saying, watch New York City. And then he goes on to say, which city was Epstein arrested in? New York City. And furthermore, watch California. Apparently, Q knew that something was up in New York City, and we have yet to see what has been going on in California, although there may be covert operations going on there right now. And that's what I suspect happened in New York City. There was probably some kind of covert operation that happened where perhaps they went in and arrested a number of child trafficking people. Uh, that may include some well-known celebrities that are living in New York City in that rich and affluent area. But how does this all tie in to this month's energy report? Well, there's a clearing, a cleansing, and a transmuting of energies uh, with all these child traffickers being rounded up and the freeing of the children that they've been abusing. This also ties into Pluto and Capricorn with the whole truth vibration of what's going on. Pluto entered Capricorn in 2008. It already reached its apex and it stays there until 2023. So we still have a few more years left of Pluto and Capricorn, but with Pluto and Capricorn, it's the truth vibration that keeps rising and I've written numerous articles that you can find on N5D about Pluto and Capricorn. And I made this prediction years ago when Pluto first entered Capricorn about 
the truth vibration and seeing the, uh, the collapse of the Roman Catholic Church religion, basically, collapse of religion, money, and government. And we've, we've been watching that happen all throughout the world. So it's not a surprise to me what's happening in that uh, fashion. Also, you look at alchemy as above, so below. What is going on in the aethers if this much is going on here on our planet? Something big is going on, perhaps a, a, a cleansing out of the reptilians or the draconians. Um, I have a feeling that house cleaning is going on up above, just like it is right here on our planet. One other thing I found really interesting was today, Paul McCartney is trending on Twitter. And the thing that I find really fascinating about that is when I was having this conversation with my friend yesterday, I was talking about Paul, or as I call him, Fall, the fake Paul McCartney. There's a uh, wonderful documentary on Vimeo called The Winged Beetle. And I highly recommend that you check that out. If you want to go down that Paul McCartney is dead <laughs> conspiracy theory, it's, it's quite fascinating. And it was done well enough for me to say, well, yeah, I kind of, I don't think Paul McCartney is who we think he is. One of the key points on that is that he was arrested when he was in Germany and they took his DNA there. And then years later, as a fake Paul McCartney, he tried to get into one of the Asian countries with a bunch of marijuana and he got busted for that. And they did a DNA there. The DNAs don't match. So chances are we're, the only remaining beetle is Ringo. So I, th I found that really interesting. So a common theme on this month's energy report, mid-month energy report, is to pay attention to what's not happening. And I found this uh, really strange anomaly on our high-pitched frequency energy report for the ninth consecutive day, and this has never happened before since I've been recording these high-pitched frequencies, but for the ninth consecutive day, we've had a high-pitched frequency that has been in the upper chakras, um, the heart, throat, third eye, and crown chakra. And that's unprecedented. For nine consecutive days, the high-pitched frequencies have been in the higher frequencies. The specific energy of today's F-sharp high-pitched frequency shows us that difficulties that we had previously encountered are being alleviated or resolved through the love frequency. You may also find that some things that had bothered you in the past no longer seem like much of an issue, although current issues may still remain to be worked on on an individual basis. Now the F sharp major represents the heart, I love, the moon, spiritual retreat, peacefulness and bliss, triumph over difficulty, a free sigh of relief uttered when hurdles are surmounted, echo of a soul which has fiercely struggled and finally conquered lies in all uses of this key. And that's exactly what we're seeing through this whole Jeffrey Epstein case with child trafficking and pedophilia being exposed. Once again, just like I was mentioning in Pluto and Capricorn, the truth is coming to the surface. So I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hear this, but this is the sound that I hear That's the F-sharp high-pitched frequency. That's the kind of tone that I hear and report on every day. Now, not everyone hears these high-pitched frequencies. I've been hearing these ever since I can remember as a child. I remember having those hearing tests and before they even, you know, you put your those, those headphones on and before they even would press a button, I could hear high-pitched frequencies. So it's, it's something that I've, I've been used to ever since a child. It's for as long as I re can remember, I've heard high-pitched frequencies. But never until when I was a, an adult that I figured out what a high-pitched frequency is. Now, today's high-pitched frequency is a cusp. It's the F-sharp. Let me see if I can get that on. Here's the F-sharp. That's an F. That's a G. So it cusps the F and the G. So it's a combination of both frequencies. But it wasn't until I was an adult that I was able to put one and one together and differentiate what these high pitched frequencies mean and align those uh, frequencies to the 
appropriate chakras that are involved. So it's important to pay attention to which ear you're predominantly hearing these high-pitched frequencies from. Sometimes it's equal in both ears, but usually it's either one or the other. For example, today's high-pitched frequency is more predominant on my left-hand side, which, as you see here, further into the article, in QHHT, the left side of your body represents your past life, and your right side is your current life. Your left side is also the divine feminine, while your right side is the divine masculine. So what you want to do is take that into consideration whenever you're getting these high-pitched frequencies. What side of the ear or which side of the head is it coming from? Is there a message from the divine feminine, which we all have the divine masculine and feminine within us? But is there a message? And it not, might not necessarily be within you. It might be from somebody. It might be something or someone from your past, not even necessarily in this life perhaps a past life that's trying to communicate or send you a message. That's why, okay, so like I said, the left-hand side, past life, divine feminine, right-hand side, current life, divine masculine. So pay attention to those messages. So what does this all mean when we have these, for the nine consecutive days, these high energies that are coming in that are involving all of our upper chakras? Well, it means that there's this high vibratory energy that's coming in, whether we can see that or not on the Schumann resonance. And I'll get into the Schumann resonance in a little while for our Patreon people, but there's a high vibratory energy that's that's going on, that's fluctuating amongst these high, higher level chakras. So what you want to do with today's high pitch frequencies of the throat and the heart chakra is to go within, to meditate, as a matter of fact, if you go on any given high pitch frequency update, you'll find recommendations in there to, on what to do to open up a closed heart chakra or whatever that day's particular frequency is. So on today's update, you'll find related heart chakra articles as well as related throat chakra articles. But ultimately, you want to really go deep within, and that's going to be a theme that I'll be covering later on on the full Patreon version on what it means to really go within and to uh, figure out what these messages are. Because ultimately, what's happening is we're getting messages on how to cleanse and transmute whatever it is that we need to work on right now through our inner work. And it's an opportunity to grow and become fully present within our bodies. So I'm going to leave it off at that. I have a lot more to cover on Patreon. So for those qualified viewers on Patreon, I'll see you over there. And to everyone else, I want to thank you for joining me here on YouTube, on the YouTube version of this mid-month energy report. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified on when new videos are published. And I'll be playing a long outro on this so we can chat and uh, hang out for an additional five minutes or so. So until the next time, I'm sending you all infinite love and light. This is Greg from in5d.com. Namaste.